In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create folders to organize your documents as they start to get created. If you remember for the, from the previous tutorials uh, about showing how to add content, I showed you you can create new content by clicking on the Create New button. This time, we're going to click Create New, but we're going to go down to the option Folder. I select that item, and you can see immediately in my Folders area, I have a new folder. And at the top of my window, I have a blank editing box where I can rename it. So I'm going to call this folder Tutorials. Surprise, surprise. And I will click and add a description that's profound. So now I've named my folder. I've given it a description. And if you look at this little button off to the right, you can actually color code your folders, remind you of probably labels or color coding events in your calendars. Um, I'm going to choose this color of blue and um, I'm just going to simply click Save. And if you look over to the left hand side under My Folders you can see there's now a folder called Tutorials and it is color coded blue. I'm going to come back to All Items and show you that I have a document and if I want to move that document into my newly created folder, I simply drag it. Now, when I click on my Tutorials folder, the item that I'm storing in there shows up. Let's create another folder. This time, I'm going to call this a subfolder. There's several ways you can create a subfolder. Um, what I like to do is have the folder that I'm going to create a subfolder in selected. And then I go back to the Create New menu and choose Folder. And I will call this Google. In my description, I will call this Tutorials uh, for Google. And I will color code this one red. When I click Save, you can see that I now have a folder called Tutorials and a subfolder called Google. So if I want to, I can go to my Tutorials menu and I can see the folder Google. Now my Google Forms is actually a Google tutorial, so I will take and drag that up into the Google folder. You can see my computer's working. And now let me just jump over to the Google folder and you can see my Google Forms is inside the Google folder. So you can create folders and subfolders. And you can create as many as you want. There's another type of folder that's available to you and um, this is shared folders. So for example if someone has created a folder in their documents environment and wants to share that folder and its contents with me, then those folders would show up in the shared, uh, excuse me, folders shared with me option. You can see that no one is sharing any folders with me currently. I will change that. Um, so there aren't any folders that are appearing. So you have two types of folders. Folders that you create that show up in my folders and folders that other people create and choose to share with you. Those show up in folders shared with me.